grounding? Does this, like, what does grounding have to do with healing presence and around that? So grounding well, seems to be a big word right now. Well, grounding is, as it applies to us, it uh, goes back to this, this is part of my journey. Uh, when I first started with Gestalt, oh gosh, 25 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, uh, actually, about 30 years ago, uh, I was working with a Gestalt therapist when I went through my midlife correction, as I like to call it. Uh, and I, I believe that's true. I don't believe in midlife crisis. I, we call it a crisis because we don't like it. But if we honor it for what it is, it's a correction of saying, you're not paying attention to who you are. So you can go ahead and die or you can do something different, and which is what I, I had done. So grounding out of that, I went to the Gestalt Institute and, and um, through all their trainings, I became certified as a, a therapist as well as a um, group uh, leader and uh, an organizational development consultant. And then taught for 10 some plus years, 12 years. Well, I'm still teaching there, so 20 some years. Um, they used to say you need to get grounded. And my response is, is WTF. And because I had no idea what they meant. I, I said, what do you mean by that? Well, you're not grounded. What does that mean? And nobody had any explanation. So I started working on really understanding it. And what they're basically saying is, you should have a complete awareness of the sensory aspects of your body. You should feel present. So some tricks that I've taught people is wiggle your toes. And if you can feel your butt in a seat, you're probably grounded inside your body. Now, in the healing den, there's more than that. There's ground with. So grounding with is being fully present to yourself and fully aware of your client. So that creates a container. Another way of doing it is, is ground with is, is if we feel totally connected, our energetic field is open and we feel the energy in the ground below us. So we feel it coming up. We're really grounded now because we're feeling the whole aspect of warmth coming up through our ankles and into our body. And you know, this isn't some illusion or guided meditation. This is when people suddenly realize it's real it means you have access to all of these various energies to create a, a, an amazing healing space. And the impact of it is, is, is the energy body of every human responds. The same thing with any animal. If you're fully present with any animal, that animal wants to come up and be close to you. And it's real interesting how this, why uh, I didn't understand for the longest time growing up, I had better relationships with animals than I did with human beings for a variety of reasons. But it was because I got still and quiet. And so did they, and we would just sit with each other. And that's been my whole life, and including, you know, we've had three wolves, wolf hybrid, majority wolf, and, you know, they, they become fully domesticated and, and sweet, and adorable. I call them the welcome wagon. And, uh, but they have this amazing energy that's both wild and, and loving, and it's about being present. And if you're present to them, then they know they're safe. And the impact of that is, is that uh, you, have a, you have the luxury of, of being in the presence of just an amazing animal. Same with horses, like my wife does, and things like that.